GameFlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bringing you our Mountain West Conference Game of the Week preview between the Boise State Broncos and the Michigan State Spartans. Now let's look at Boise State in this ball game. They're replacing two of the best players in their school's history in Kelly Moore at quarterback and also Doug Martin at running back. But I like what they have in the backfield with DJ Harper. You want to get this guy on the perimeter. His speed and agility to make one miss could prove to be a huge thorn in the side of the Spartans. So get him on the perimeter, whether it be in the running game or also the passing game. And you want to move quarterback Andrew, you want to make Andrew Maxwell, the quarterback of Penn State, make him beat you. Stop the run against Michigan State and you put all the onus on that young quarterback to make plays downfield with an inexperienced group of wide receivers. And I look at the left tackle, Faraji Wright versus William Golson. You have to keep Golson out of the backfield. Faraji Wright is the left tackle. That's going to be huge. That's the matchup you have to watch if you're a Boise State Bronco fan. You have to make sure your left side is well protected against the outstanding pass rusher in Golson. Now you look at Michigan State, off tackle running might be the way to go. I think Boise is weaker on the defensive end as opposed to on the interior. So you might want to run off tackle and they could have some success. Le'Veon Bell is one of, uh, just a master at running back and this guy can do a great job in getting outside as well. Very underrated quickness. And you look at the talented, talented DBs of Michigan State. Very talented secondary. You look at guys like Johnny Adams, who's an All-American, and Darquez Dennard, another talented corner, going against the wide receivers and Matt Miller, and Mitch Burroughs. That's a great matchup if you love football and passing game. You have outstanding DBs going against outstanding receivers. Michigan State has to win that battle. If Boise State is going to get going on the road, they're going to throw the football to those talented receivers, in particular Matt Miller. So those corners of Michigan State have to make sure they win those individual matchups in order to come away with a victory. Big game right here. You know Boise State is always primed for an upset. They're looking to make a statement showing everybody that this team was bigger than the losses that happened last season. So I actually think Boise State is going to come in and play a sound game, but I think Michigan State wins this ball game. They're going to lean on Boise State defensively. Offensive line is going to lean on that defense, and that defensive line, which could be quite possibly one of the best in college football of Michigan State, is going to cause all kind of problems for Boise State's passing attack. So I think Michigan State wins a very sound ball game at home to open the 2012 season.